back to another video so i'm starting out today's video cooking some dinner for brian and i which i said i would share in the last video by the way if you have not seen the last video i'll link it here in the cards you guys can go check it out so tonight i am making loaded mashed potatoes with salmon and broccoli if you're not a fan of salmon i'm sure you can substitute any other kind of meat especially like shrimp with this meal i'm sure shrimp would taste really good with it i started out with washing and peeling my potatoes because these will be homemade mashed potatoes okay i season my broccoli and i added some vegetable broth to that as well i season my salmon the night before for good taste and to save some time mm -hmm. i didn't want to wash anything or season anything so i got it all done the day before After my salmon is cooked, I added some butter to the same pan. My pan is clean, y'all. It's clean, okay? I use them, all right? They're starting to look a little ugly, but they're still useful, all right? So I added some green peppers and onions, garlic. I love me some garlic, okay? I am a huge fan of some, of some garlic. I think I add it in every meal that I cook. But yeah, I added some garlic, I added some heavy cream, I added my usual seasonings, which is complete seasoning, black pepper, garlic, and onion powder, and my Creole seasoning. I love that stuff too. And then I whip it up and add some mozzarella cheese. I would have added some Parmesan cheese instead, but um, I didn't have any more, so I added some mozzarella cheese. And then I put the salmon back into the pan, mixed it. like this. For my homemade mashed potatoes, I added butter, heavy cream, milk, my usual seasonings, and ranch. If you've never used ranch in your homemade mashed potatoes, you should definitely try it. It adds so much flavor. Made with a whole lot of love every single time. This was so delicious and we had leftovers for the next day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Today is Sunday and it's Brian's birthday. I just baked this cake for him, but he requested it's a uh, orange cake. So it just came out of the oven. I have the icing sitting on the microwave just so it can stay a little warm before I pour it on here. I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes and um, then pour the icing on there. But yeah, y'all, today is Brian's birthday. He is 35 now. I'm seven months older than Brian. He likes to call me a cougar, but I am not a cougar, okay? <laughs> I'm only seven months older than him, but I'm going to let this cool down for a bit. It's an orange cake, so um, the icing has orange peelings in it. Uh, you know the zest and uh, the orange juice from the orange and yeah the powdered sugar I'm just gonna keep it right here because the oven is still hot so it keeps this warm so it doesn't clump up on me this will be my first time having this kind of cake Brian has had it several times apparently and He's actually been asking for this cake for a very long time. <laughs> so today I was like, I'm gonna make him this cake. I went out yesterday, got the ingredients. I gave him his gift yesterday and um, I got him the new Valentino cologne because every time we went into the mall, 
all he would do was get a sample and i was just wondering like i just could never understand why he just didn't get the dang on cologne so i went and got it for him for his birthday no i could not hold it <laughs> for his birthday as soon as i wrapped it up i gave it to him because i cannot i'm just not the one to keep surprises i don't like surprises myself and i have a hard time keeping surprises so especially like gifts for brian because i listen i love i love to see my husband smile okay and he was so thankful for it this cake smells so dang on good brian is in there asleep but i'm sure he's gonna be waking up soon because it just smells so good in here it smells so good we went out to um we went out to lunch today I thought we were gonna go to dinner, but Brian was like, he wanted lunch and he wanted to come back home. Last night we rented the movie, um, what is it, Bad Boys? We rented that on Netflix last night and it was a really good movie. We finished it like at 1 a.m. in the morning. But it was a really good movie. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to sit through it because I do not like uh, suspense movies at all. <laughs> like at all and I was about to get up and go in the room but he was like no no just wait sit wait <laughs> that's why I do not watch scary movies no suspense I just can't it just works it just does something to my nerves <laughs> it smells so Some days I wish I had a relationship status Then I remember last time I ain't got time for that I have a job, it's actually quite fulfilling Though my head I'm standing I barely do anything else I read stuff for books I do meditation Walks in the woods A new destiny 
I'm back home from my Pilates class and y'all, let me just say, that was 50 minutes and it felt like over an hour. Um, <laughs> y'all know the last, the last Pilates class I went to was just a intro class. So it was like, uh, I believe it was like 30 minutes and this time this class was like the real deal and it was 50 minutes and baby. I told y'all that Pilates really humbles me. <laughs> it really humbles me and um, it did that again today. I really like the reformers. I like being able to like stretch my arms and my legs on those, um, what they call them? Blue handles, or the blue handles. Um, yeah, I really like that so uh, yeah and i don't know what i was thinking because when i do when i do the pilates when i do the pilates at home like watching youtube those videos are like at max 20 minutes long doing pilates and i did 50 minutes today girl <laughs> but i really enjoyed it my experience with that studio and you know the instructor now this instructor today she was actually from uh i think she said petersburg florida um so she was just in town and she you know came to work because i guess i guess they can work at different studios but um uh, yeah so she she, she needed to go back home <laughs> She was very intense. I've only done Pilates with one instructor and I guess I have to try other ones to see how tough they are. But today, the instructor was really, really tough. <laughs> but she was very helpful at the same time. Um, so I was going to come home and go on a two mile walk, but I changed my mind because I didn't expect, <laughs> I did not expect that class to be as intense as it was. I have some new shoes that were sent to me from Fitville, some new walking shoes, and I'm gonna try them on. I had to show y'all. And yeah, so these are my new walking shoes from Fitville. They are very comfortable and I love the colors of them. You know, just a simple uh, walking shoe. So let's try them on. For y'all, I've already Worn them. But they're very comfortable, y'all. When it comes to me walking and having on the right type of shoe, it means a lot. I'm sure it means a lot for anybody, but the only shoes that I have right now that I can actually walk in are my Adidas. And now I have my Fit Deals that I can wear when I go on my walks. They fit so nicely, y'all. These shoes are very spacious. They are built with extra width with a 58% degree of firmness of the soles and 58% degree of flexibility for the forefoot. So they have rebound and cushioning arch support with extra bounce. So they have a U-shaped arch support with dual density. They also are slip resistant, which means that the rubber inside the insole is designed to achieve superior ground absorption. And last but not least, flat feet control. I don't have flat feet, but for those that may have flat feet, these have heel rings that ensures consistent posture. If you're interested in these Fitville shoes, they will be listed down in the description box below along with a code for a small discount. I went to Dollar General yesterday and I did a very simple deal, as y'all can see. Um, like a ten dollar challenge i guess but i was searching through some old accounts and i found the account that had a three off of 15 digital coupon so i used that of course uh, so i put that to get used we just got a new 10 off of 40 digital coupon again so i may or may not use that but i picked up two of these small arm and hammers um 25 loads these are four dollars this week and we have um dollar and fifty cents off digital coupons so i had two of them so i picked up two of these on my hammer and then a swabby tail these are four dollars and we have a two dollar digital coupon however my two dollar digital did not come off for that i don't know why because i scanned it and it popped up but anyway um the game fireworks 450 and i had a two dollar digital coupon and here's my receipt Here's my receipt, everything that I picked up. As you can see, my $2 digital coupon did not come off for the Swabby Tail. It's the last item 
on the receipt. My subtotal was $8.50, uh, which was great. It would have been $6.50 if my $2 digital came off for the swabby tail, but still under $10, so I'm not going to complain. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I had a total savings of $8.00. So that's all that I got from Dollar General. And like I said, we got a new 10 off of 40 digital coupon. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. I may. I'm going to have to search through my old accounts and see if I have like another $2 digital for this. I'm not messing with the swabby tail anymore because once a digital does not come off, I don't even try to use it again. Okay. Because I do not have time for the hassle. All right. I like smooth easy going transactions that's not always possible but i learned my lesson so i'm gonna look on some older accounts to see what i have um i used to have, I used to have several accounts mine brian's um ooh, my sisters i have like three of my sisters numbers that i use so i'm gonna look through those to see what else i can find don't mind my pimple patch we got one coming, but I'm about to knock it out. <laughs> it's currently 3.05. 3.05. Slip and slide. Take it to the house. Take it to the house. <laughs> I mean, I know nothing about that if you're not from Miami. But, yeah, it's 3.05 in the afternoon. And I have been decluttering the kitchen. I did the cabinets. Um, not all the cabinets. So I cleaned these out. I still had to wipe off the counters and the cabinets and stuff, but I got rid of a lot of things. And this one too. But I still have to, I still have to um, do my uh, silverware. So I have it right here, y'all. This is the last thing that I have to do. But I found these and I was like, what is this? Y'all can't even see me. Okay, let me sit down because I have such a weird angle. All right, so I found this box underneath the cabinet and I was like, what is this? Um, and then I opened it up and it's extra silverware. And I don't remember buying, like what kind of deal did I get? <laughs> because it's the same silverware that uh, we've been using, sorry for the noise, I know it's a lot of noise, but it's the same silverware that we've been using, that's some straws, my glass straws, and I forgot I had this, I had a fork, new knives, <laughs> spoons, fork, spoons, so I don't know, I don't remember but I love the silverware, so I'm going to pack these up and donate them to Goodwill. Um, I have a bag full of things that I'm throwing away, and then I have a bag of things that I'm going to give away. And I've I've dropped a couple of things. I dropped a couple of things, y'all, and had to sweep it up. But I'm going to actually wash these before I put them in here, of course. But I had no idea that I had these. And these are how they're looking. I've been using these for, how long have we been here? We've been here for four years. That's crazy. But like, look at them, how they look now. Look a little rusted. So now I get to replace them. Well, you know what? Should I give these away? I think I might throw these away. I'm gonna pick through them to see because not all of them are like that. Not all of them are like that. This one is good. This one is good. This one is good. So this is the only one that's a little rusty. Rusty. But yeah, I got a whole new set that I can replace. This is my old one. So I had four butter knives out. We don't need that many utensils. So I had four uh, butter knives. Should I do five? Let's do five. Because we can. <laughs> and some spoons. I think I had like four big spoons. I don't really like using big. I don't like to use 
six spoons. I don't know. I just, I just hate it. <laughs> I hate eating with big spoons, but Brian uses them. So I had four big spoons. Four of these. I still have to do. I don't think I need to do any more bottom cabinets. I do need to do the spice cabinet though, which will be for another day because I'm tired and I'm hungry. I made some homemade mac and cheese last night. So I have. Yeah, I'll be there. So I'm gonna eat some of that. That's all we had left over from dinner. Four big cups. I just don't like using eating out of a uh, big silverware. <laughs> for the small forks. I don't know who told me to do this today, but I got it out the way. And I started like mm, one started at 1 o'clock today because um, I had to do some editing and stuff. So I got that done and then I moved on to the next thing. And now I need four little spoons. I would not have known that I had these and I would have purchased some more. So I'm happy I did some um, reorganizing and found these. No, I had to, I really need, I had to, um, I had to do some stretching this morning because my body hurts from Pilates. <laughs> my body hurts from Pilates, especially my back and my arms. Oh my, oh me, oh my. A lot of spoons. Okay, that's it. We still have more for the next round. So I'm going to wash these. These are to donate. Donate, donate, donate. You know what? I might give these to my one of my sisters. See if they need it. Alright. Throw this one away. I love these knives from uh, Timu. Have y'all been on Timu lately? I got on there the other day and they have, they're like Amazon now. Like they have sheds and they, they have all kinds of things on Timu. I haven't been on there in a while, but now they look like um, Amazon or something. I was like, okay, Timu, I see you. So I'm gonna watch these. in the video here but i hope that you guys enjoyed i hope that you guys enjoyed today's video i gotta call my sister back i hope that y'all enjoyed today's video they always trying to bother me when i'm trying to do stuff <laughs> i hope
hope that y'all enjoyed today's video. Leave any kind of emoji down in the comments of what you guys saw today. And I'd greatly appreciate it if you guys like the video, comment. Be sure to leave those sunflowers down below because we are still blooming. And you guys will see me later. Peace. Thank you.